Now comes, brothers and sisters, fitanzil, walakin, zanantum, huh? but zanantum. Okay, brothers and sisters, zanantum. Here is our zanna. Okay, so there are two mafuls. An Allah. What is the Allah? Ismu Anna. Where is Khabar Anna? Illa ya lamu kafiran mimma ta maluna. But you thought, you all thought, huh? Lakin zanantum. But you all thought that God does not know very much about what you do. Huh? This is what it means, brothers and sisters. Now, remember, this was Anna. Now, the other thing is An. This was one form of Master Mu'awad. Now, our old usual form. What is our usual form of An? Master Mu'awad. An plus Fel Mudariya Mansu. Okay. Look at this, brother. Ma Zanantu. What is the meaning of Ma Zanantu, brother? I did not think. And huh? Yarsuba Ahmadu. Huh? Ahmadu, brother and sister, is the file of Yarsub. I did not think that Ahmad failed. That Ahmad failed. Huh? Now, <coughs> now, brother and sisters, I want you to look at the next sentence, which Dr. Sahib has produced. What is that? Ma zanantu. So here is zanantu. Okay. Two mafuls. Ahmada and yarsubu. What is yarsubu? Jumla failia fi mahali nasbin. Got the idea? You got your two maful. But how will you describe this, brother? An yarsuba ahmadu. Al master al muawwal yasuddu masadda mafulaini. Got the idea? Inshallah. Huh? You will remember this, huh? Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Kauluhu ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. And this is from Surah Qiyama. But in order to understand, you know, Quran verse nicely, brother, we must go two, three verses before it and two, three verses after it. Because they are all connected. Huh? The way I said this yesterday, Wakala Rasulu, and I said Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will say to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and Yom Al Qiyama, it did not make a complete sense. This sentence came out of a blue, but when you go in sequence of verse number 27, 28, 29, 30, it follows. You know, the Zalims will say this, and then the Prophet will say this. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So there is a sequence there. Okay, and it makes sense because that sequence describes the scenario of Yomul Kayama. Huh? Okay. Now, here is something. Wujuhu Yaumaidin Vasiratun. Are you with me? It's not there. Huh? But it is the verse before that. Are you with me, brother? Huh? What verse is this, uh, uh, Sister Hafsa? 25. So number 24 verse is this. Huh? The faces on that day will be basiratun. They will be terrified. Huh? They will be scared. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Their faces will be all black from terror. Okay? And what is is the next verse tazunnu thinking those faces will be thinking see tazunnu is a feminine huh? it goes to wujuhun write down the sentence there in the book it will be nice brothers and sisters huh? what is the sentence
Huh? Do you see the verse before? This verse? Wujuhum yaumayisin on that day basiratun. Okay. And now this is what they are thinking. Who are thinking? The owners of this faces. Owners of these faces are thinking. Tadunnu. Monas. We say in Urdu, Monas ka siga hai. It refers to feminine pronoun. Okay. Tadunnu an yuf'ala. Now this is, brothers and sisters, majhul. Yuf'ala biha fakiratun. What is the meaning of this sentence? Thinking that some break, breaking calamity is going to fall on them. Yomul Kayama. Now they are in that thought that some terrible thing is going to be inflicted on them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So again, Tadunnu, where are two mafuls? Master Muhawal. How will you describe it? Yathuddu Masadda Maf'ulaini. So again, Tadunnu, where are two mafuls? Master Muhawal. How will you describe it? Yathuddu Masadda Maf'ulaini. No, brothers and sisters, this is the grammatical way of explaining. And we have to understand it uh, sentence by sentence, so we must know our Arabic very well, uh, inshallah. And those people who do not know Arabic very well, they will also miss out. Even the Arabs, if they do not know their language very well, they will miss out, brother. They will miss out. Some of the, some of the beauties of the Quran. أَدْخِلْ أَنَّ ثُمَّ ذَنَّ عَلَى جُمْلَ الْوَارِدَةِ فِي تَمْرِينَ سَابِقْ Now, there was an exercise before. What was that, brothers and sisters? حَامِدٌ مَرِيدٌ What did you do? We used ذَنَنْتُ حَامِدًا مَرِيدًا now you take all these sentences and put an. Uh, you got to do it. It's very easy. Let's try one sentence. Uh, brothers and sisters, how will you do it? This is halwa puri, brother. It will give you extra uh, you know, exercise, extra practice. And brothers and sisters, these are all beautiful things because you are, no, you are not a stranger to anna. You are not a stranger to Ismu anna, khabar anna. You are very strong in muqtada khabar. So it will be very easy for you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How will you say? How will you say, brothers and sisters? Zanantu, zanantu anna. Hamidan, maridun khalas, brother. Is it difficult? Now you see, you put Anna. Huh? And now where are two mafuls? Al-Mastar al-Muawwal, which is Anna plus Ismu Anna and Khabar Anna, becomes Yasuddu Masadda Mafulain. Huh? Inshallah. Highlight those things and Inshallah do it. Huh? Next one, brother and sister. Atazunnu Annal Imtihana. Sahilun, that's it, brother. That's it. And you can easily translate, inshallah. Azunnu anna ta'irata mutaakhiratun. Khalas, brother. Azunnu anna ka mashallah, mashallah. Anta will change into anna ka. Are you with me, sister Sumayya? Inshallah, anna ka. Sister Mamuna, anna ka. See, all that we have studied, now we can use it, inshallah.